Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, for the first part of the final, okay, notice that I have an equation up here. x plus 2, parenthesis square, plus y minus 3, parenthesis square, equals 4 square. Okay, for that first one, you guys are going to graph it, okay? Show me how it looks once it's graphed it. For your second one, on the blue, this is all first, the first part, okay, of your final. The second one, you're gonna write an equation for it, okay? Then you're gonna graph it. So the center is a two comma one, and you have a radius of four, okay? And for the final part of that first part, you have a circle. All you have to do is write an equation for it, okay? Notice where it's the center is located. See where how many how, how far is the radius from the center? Okay, the edge. So again, the first one you're graphing, the second one you create an equation, and then you're graphing. And for the third one, all you're doing is creating an equation. Okay. That's the first part of circles. Okay. Remember the first day of the final, it's three parts. Okay. The last two parts, because remember it's total of five. The last two parts we're going to do in the next class. All right, so your second part is to that first part of the final. Notice that I have three circles, okay? On the first one, you're solving for x. You have 16, 8, and 12, okay? Again, you're solving for x here as well. And then finally, on the last one, you're solving for each one of the variables. Okay, so you're for a, b, c, d, and e. Remember to use a specific equation for these two. And then finally, for, for the final part of the final, okay? All you are doing is, on these three shapes, okay, you have a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, and then this kind of like, kind of like a slide, okay? You have to tell me how many edges, vertices, and faces does each one of these ones have, okay? Faces can also mean, another way of saying it, bases, is faces. Okay, so either one, basis, faces, okay, edges, and vertices for each one of these. How many does each have of all three? Okay, once you're done answering all of these, go ahead and submit your answers to me. All right, make sure you submit them as soon as you're done watching the video, and I'll be here waiting for your email.